Hello and welcome to another Near Running Cast. As always, my name is Jono and I'm joined once again by Joey. How's it going, Joey? Not too bad. Excellent. So, in the fourth round, the uh, fourth elimination round of the Reading Store Championship, we have an all, all the shot matchup. On the left hand side, we've got Ian Reid, uh, Paulton Kate. We'll talk about a bit about that in a minute. And we've got Alex Borrell playing uh, PE. Um, so, uh, PE is pretty rare to see in elimination. Yeah. I'm actually a really good chance. matchup against this deck, which is funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this Kate is also an unusual Kate deck. They have this, they have this weird condition down in order shot where they they do love playing this one deck. <laughs> um, so a while ago, and we've seen it. Uh, See, this will be the third time. Third time, yeah. And this the weird thing is though, it lost the first two times, right? It is, yeah. So it'd be interesting because that deck, I kid you, like it's viewers good. won't believe it's us. It's really good. Dave, yeah. Dave Sayer has won three store championships. He wins. A, he does win a lot. That and deck. Yeah. that deck often goes undefeated in tournaments. Like it, if you yeah. haven't got a specific deck that can beat it, it sometimes you don't know yeah. how to win. And if you don't know what's happening, if you don't, if know, you're not yeah. ready, you, yeah. you got no chance. Yeah. And even if you do know what's happening, some decks just can't win. Um, anyway, you know who does know what's happening? Yeah. Is Alex Borrell because he would have played against this deck from all yeah. kinds of people. And PE is, is a really good answer because yeah. essentially, for those who haven't seen the other videos, this is a one win, one turn win deck. Yes. Uh, Kate, which does deep digging nonsense. Um, and yeah, that's that's P P loves that. Like yeah, go and run eighteen deep in R and D, see what happens. So yeah. So, uh, ooh, a very interesting first couple of turns. So, uh, Ian Money's out, played a couple of short gambles, uh, which is not yet cleared away, but we'll in a minute. And um, Alex bluffed out a uh, Philotic on the first turn. Which That's I bet he would have left. I bet he wouldn't have scored that. That's, you just go, oh, he won't run it now. It's yeah. a trap. And then so, he scored it. Uh, he put it out on the table. It didn't get run. He scored it out, and he hit the medium out of hand. So, right, let's do a quick stock take of this deck. So, this deck is going to function... It's, the plan is, correct me if I'm wrong, it's going to get down three half drivers, probably using leprechauns, SMCs, yeah. that kind of thing. It's going to get loads of money. It's going to install it. three, um, what they call the ones that click for an extra click. Uh, or some all nighters as well. All -nighters, yeah, yeah. so two, two or three all nighters. Yeah, you can get a lot of clicks. Um, and then it's going to have um, a medium and a keyhole. Maybe an SMC away, or maybe actually on the table or in hand. It's going to have uh, a DDoS. Yeah. And it's going to have. Some number of false echoes and clone ships, depending to on how much ice there is on R and D. Depending on the amount of ice on R and D, yeah. and then it will uh, false echo clone ship it all away using DDoS, yeah. and then it will go to town with thirteen clicks, keyhole in, yeah. medium keyhole about awesome. five times, yeah. then medium run, and then oscillate keyhole medium run to, to get shuffles. maximum access. So you see the entire deck. Having said that, maximum access isn't necessarily ideal against PE, but that's the basic plan. Anyway, given that it's in shaper. Given influence cost, and given the fact that um, Shaper is very good at tutoring, I expect there's only one medium in this deck. There is one medium, one key. Probably one medium, one key. Be it clone chips. You've got clone chips. So but he's now going to have to use a clone chip to get it back. I think Alex will know, like everyone has learned who has ever played Dave Sayer or Ian playing this deck, is that the trying to get keep icing up R and D doesn't work. Um, like it just sometimes. Doesn't. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> it, it doesn't really work. Like, I mean, they'll go before you get like the ninth piece down or whatever yes. it is that they can't deal with. So, yeah, he's done the right thing, which is you put one down and then you, and then you just force him. He can ignore the false echo thing and you ignore the yeah ice thing, so he can go quicker. You can go quicker. Um, that does mean he can use all his clone chips to get uh, to get that medium back. Use one of his clone chips to get that medium back. Yes, so he's gonna have to use one. So in fact, he's already installed a clone chip and uh, an all nighter. And that is that glared out card is an SMC. So um, presumably we're going to see that SMC used for maybe a leprechaun, something like that. Leprechaun to install the hyperdrive, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Alex is going to install and double advance. So. Uh, huh. He just do he you, showed his hand though, didn't he? Uh, yes, he did. So that's a good point. So let's see. He had, he had a fetal AI. He had a fetal. Oh, he yeah. did have a fetal. He had a fetal, which is an agenda, uh, but he had no traps. He has drawn since then two cards. Yeah. Okay. So. I would run that thing. Even though it's almost certainly a fetal, maybe. Yeah, well, that's fine. It <laughs> means um, he doesn't get two points. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get quality time on click one, following an earth rise. So he's got a lot of cards. So maybe now is a good time to run it. Not sure. The um, thing is, it's really you don't want to chuck too many cards. So. Yeah, yeah. Ian's quite a... I don't know, he's quite a, a rational sort. He won't charge in headlong, so... Yeah. It's a pity he hasn't got the um, technical writers, because that's... That can be quite important. So he lets him have it. So he does let him have it. He's going to install the Leprechaun and Daily Cast and the Hyperdrive on the Leprechaun. Um, this, yeah, this deck doesn't really want to chuck cards. Like it, it needs all those cards. Well, yeah, you're probably right. It's going to have duplicates. And in fact, it throws a quality time. Um, yeah. He also 
I think miscounted. You miscount out six cards. Um, he just come off the back of a very long game against an RP that had a right. mental health. So yeah. <laughs> he's just counted six, so he's going to have to discard another card. Uh, yeah, you're right. You don't want to throw away too many cards. I mean, um, so what's spare in this deck? I guess you could throw away a... Full Psychos. Yeah. Coin chips. He throws, throws around another diesel. Draw I mean, money, he, he but... might have things like bookmark. Which is useful, but you don't need more than one. Or he, yeah, if I he's got two D dots, you can throw one away. Notorieties instead. So, um, so Alex playing classic Jinteki mind games does not score. Yeah. But is pro presumably a fiddle AI, and instead installs two new cards. Um, but now he's definitely knows it's safe because the turn that they, you don't score it, that's they're never running that now. Yeah, because it could be a June bug. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, now, it's now much less like it's less. If it, however likely it was to be a feature before, it's now less likely than it was. So it's you that's true. You, and you, it's, you never run it, and it's almost certainly not. Um, I don't know, a, a three-one, a Gila hands, or a, a Ian is is really close to ready though. Like, so he's got um, he's got two hyperdrivers, and um, he's got an SMC, so he can get the third out and still do it stop turn if he wants. Yeah. Uh, although he does have memory problems at the moment, he, not now, problem, but... and 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 money problems. But because he's got the clone chip to get the medium back, he needs to get the right. So oh, Alex has scored a Chronos project, so medium, medium is going to go away, but. You can 5p before Chronos Project as well, so we're going to see another card cast into the abyss. He should have. But the medium is gone. So he and he didn't even have a chance to. He couldn't have even cloned it back before he scored. Yeah. Could he? And he has the keyhole. That is a disaster. <laughs> that is an absolute disaster. So um, Ian's going to have some real problems now because his one of keyhole and one of medium are not not only trashed. They're out of the game. So. Oh God, I'm actually I'm actually shocked. <laughs> I was like Ian set up so fast. Yeah, he's almost ready. I think you're right. Uh, he he's not quite there. He needs maybe a turn away, a couple of turns with the daily cast or something. Yeah, but but he definitely before Alex wins the game, he's ready to go. Yes, point now, yeah. Because he's only three points. He's like, oh, he set up really well. He's got he's got the ability to get his third hyperdriver. And even the medium is. You can kind you of live without it. the medium. You can kind yeah. of live without the medium. Either just keyhole, keyhole forever. Key, keyhole's better than keyhole medium. for you days against, against PE. PE. But, but even if you have one or the other, you've got yeah. a good chance of winning. But he's lost both. So um, he's now looking for now what? What is his out? His out is just to play an all PE game. Just draw as much as he can. Just to have his big, yeah. or have all his clicks. Because the thing is, remember, he hasn't got any breakers, so he only he still has to yes. run like one turn. <laughs> so, but he can run HQ. He I mean, can run R and D. A few times in one turn, he could hyperdriver and then run RD a couple of turns. He could also take this take this fleet AI to the face and take it. You can use hyperdrivers as diesels at this yeah. point. Just trash it, start a turn, and draw three cards. He That's good to, against I think PE. he has to check that feet. He has to check that because he needs to now get his agenda. So if that's a potential fetal, he has to run it now and see. Yeah, because. It, yes, it probably might be a trap, but he's probably lost now, so he has to run into that. This is crazy. Yes. He's sorry, sorry, sorry yeah, I know. And there was a real chance we were finally going to get a good we're gonna hard drive again. This, this is, yeah. I mean, he may or may not actually win now, but well, gonna he's not going to do it so it was the a real way. He scored it. it was a feat. Yeah, he's he, going to he score a run it that turn. And he's now five points. So, um, do you... Check that face down card. I mean, do you? He's going to draw some cards. Uh... We it's a, he's in a really tough spot. Yeah, he, he kind of, I mean, he doesn't have the turn anymore. There's no, there's no, there's nothing forcing him to use all, all his hyperdrives in one turn, um, apart from DDoS. DDoS. Yeah, well, he, he has two. He might have a spare in his hand, yeah. or um, so he's installed a film critic as well. That's pretty useful because that's going to help against V-tools. In fact, everything. Didn't check the face it blanks. Card. It blanks everything uh, against PA. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so the face down card was a Jackson. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. He installed and rest and used a Jackson. Um, so he's got an Ice HQ, and yeah. Now, what do you do if you're Alex? You just wait for the agenda and you throw it down. You've got no way. Of, you've got hope he doesn't run it. Well, it seems yeah. dangerous. Even if you put it behind a single piece of ice, he's got to use DDoS to get it. So as Ian, maybe the plan now is to aggressive like all your ha all of your deck is forfeit. Aggressively draw, check every remote that gets put down, and. Maybe have a turn where you like poke you DDoS and poke R and D a few times, something like that. I mean, he's got to start running though. You're right because like, he's got to start, he's got to at least check every remote. Um, mm -hmm. But I still think he does his one big turn. He's just he is trying to work out how he wins this game. Uh, I think he needs to try and draw into his notorieties for his DDoS turn. Notoriety, yeah, that's like a good out. <coughs> so back in the day, uh, Dave say didn't have notoriety. 
Yeah. Saw the error of his ways. Yeah. I talked him around. No. Yeah. <laughs> and then he put notarized like, deck. Come on. Uh, yeah. So I, I actually honestly don't know. Uh, I think Ian's deck is not exactly the same. Obviously, there's a lot of similarities. Yeah. I don't know if he has notoriety. He does. He, he does. probably does have at least one or two. I think it's a good card. Because against me in the Swiss, <coughs> there was a situation uh, where he, he, he had to run through an assassin to get into a. Uh, he had to run through an assassin to get into archives. I think it was some really stupid yeah, game. Trace net damage. He had to take the net damage. Yeah, and, lost and if he didn't, take, if he didn't, and he had like nine cards in hand, if he didn't hit the notoriety, then okay. he won the he was on six points. Yeah, like, okay. that's how it get, the game came down to. Wow. And he was in a situation again where it's like he'd lost, he didn't know how to win because he'd break it. Okay, all right. but he definitely had notoriety in the deck. That um, seems to be a recurring theme of this deck. Is if when if you don't win on your big turn, then you just kind of flounder a bit. Yeah, and maybe still win, but it's a bit. But it's very rare that you don't win on your. But normally you do the big turn the turn before the court wins, so you don't see what happens after. So you just anyway. wait, yeah. That's true. And he's still, I mean, in theory, Alex is within two turns of winning or something at all times. So, um, yeah. Right, we can another install double advance. Good work, Alex. So do you run this? Yes. I feel like you have to, right? You just draw, 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 run. Uh, you might consider turning one of these hyperdrivers into three cards. Seems pretty good. If it's an agenda... Then you can steal it. You can put it on film critic even, um, and there's no risk. Yeah. So even a fetal's free and doesn't take damage. But if it's an agenda, then whatever. Yeah. The risk here is if it's not an agenda. <laughs> it's only twice advanced, so it's not that much. So you think the Junebug could be a cerebral? Let's take two damage. Yeah. What it could be a I Ronin. Mean, a Junebug is four. Could be a Ronin. Yeah. Got, in which yeah. case you got to kill it. I, there's nothing that's. Well, yeah, no, it's, whatever it is, it's not going to kill you. So I think yeah. you just take it to the face yeah, and deal with sure. it. Sure. None of your cards now in your deck are too valuable to lose yeah, to damage. Right. No. Poss with the possible exception of a second DDoS. Or maybe if you have that in hand, you can install it. So um, Ian's now trying to talk it out. And he's, he's, he's talking to Alex and he's saying, if that's an agenda, why... Why would you install it and advance it? It must be a trap. <laughs> That's what he's saying. It must be a trap. Because he has to check it. If it's an agenda, he has to run it. Yeah. So it can't... But by that, that logic, very reason, not run it. It cannot be an agenda. That's terrible logic. So uh, he installs a second DDoS, because that's the only card in his hand he doesn't care about. Which means he's thinking of running it. <laughs> as long as he's got four cards in hand, he yeah. runs. The thing is, if, it's, if, he's only, if he's only got four hands, it's a June bug, and then he... But he, he makes a good point. As Ian, Ian has to run every run he puts down. Yeah. Which means... It can't be an agenda. So maybe you should run it, but yeah. you've still got to do it. But you've I also know no Alex, that's exactly the sort of thing Run straight to a trap. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. Alex does offer another level of um, Because also, what's the worst thing? And it was a cerebral. Okay, all right, sure. I'm almost uh, fine to make yeah, him pay right. three money. Whatever. It's like making yeah. three so, poorer. So, so like, this yeah. is relevant. He's now on one credit, which Start means running. snares don't fire. You know, he can't activate... I mean, sh stuff like shocks do. He might not be able to raise that ice. There's no June bomb on the table. I think you just go to town on R&D. I think you just do it. Just start running R&D. I mean, the worst thing you can hit now is a shock, I guess? I mean, or... It's could have something weird in it, like news teams. Thing I don't is, know. If he runs R&D now and it turns out to be a girl or a pup, you're going to be really annoyed. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, like... Yeah. Really oh, on, on R&D, yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, he's just true. He's only got one credit. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. And also point. means it's he, it's red, so D dust is now useless. So you have to deal with yes. Him. Gura, okay, Gura you're right. Dust, you're right. Yeah, I think you. He's got two D dosses, so he can takes two credits. have two yeah. turns. Um, so Alex can take three credits. He's now back up to four. Turn snares back on. Uh, so what do you reckon's in this first remote? I mean, it's not an agenda. I don't think you run it now. Whatever. It could be a psychic field, or it yeah. could be it could be a snare. Anything it could be a snare. Just threw down early. Yeah. If he started checking remotes, it could be a three for one agenda. <laughs> I think you still score it. Yeah, but because you've got a lot of one point agendas in this deck, and your PE, so it's good. Yeah. To score it, I mean. Yeah, no, but maybe not with one credit. You don't. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Maybe. He's maybe you wait until you score the other one, and then Ian doesn't check it because he's like, yeah. he doesn't. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? That's legit. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've like, won like that. Yeah. Yeah. You score. You just you leave. Score. Once they once they've convinced themselves it's not an agenda, just leave it there. It's fine. Yeah. Score so whatever you want. Because if it's one point, he still needs the other one point from somewhere. Yeah. Um, so Ian's sort of moneying up. And yeah, he's sort of an astrolabe, 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 astrolabe as well. Uh, Relate to astrolabe. Finally, uh, Ian actually no longer has memory problem. He did have a le two leprechauns and a self mod and a false echo down. So somewhat cheating. I'm not sure what you right. trashed there. I mean, yeah, he trashes the the leprechaun, I guess. But it might have had something on it at some point. Maybe the SMC. I don't know. No, I don't think that leprechaun's had anything. But he also, like, the SMC, what's that going to look for? Like, he's, he's lost the two yeah. pieces to choose yeah. for. Or even Falseco. I mean, you don't expect yeah. more than one yeah. piece of ice. So, so he's fine. Um, 
So he's going to steal a, a Chronos project from the bin. He's going to host it on Film Critic. Good. Relevant. Doesn't fire PE. He's right. going to spend both clicks stealing it. All right, sure. Uh, might as well be super careful about it. Um, he's nothing credit. else to do. That's it. He's on one point. Yes. Come on, Ian. <laughs> uh, so, I guess the other thing we should think about is this is this is PE. Um, PE has recently undergone a change. Uh, with the appearance of Data and Destiny, and more specifically, the card 24-7 News Cycle. So, we have not seen, with Pop and Sir Rube Lowbrighter, any influence splashes. The PE player does have a Flotic scored. 24-7 so, Vlog. So, if Ian scores, say, five agendas, but not seven, <laughs> but five, he might, especially now he's taken two brain damage, suffer a, a kind of dangerous right. death so that he does have to play around this a little bit um that's yeah i'm not sure what the solution is here but it's definitely that, I mean, risk. that's not a great deck plan when you've got to score a philotic to do it when there's only one in your deck i mean you happen to score no it's oh, like, great but like it's not a great deck plan but it absolutely is a deck plan yeah like, it absolutely, philotic absolutely is a deck and it's yeah. is it's dangerous and if you score a philotic early you're off to the races yeah it's great you just wait for them to score yeah. enough and then go 24 7 yeah. absolutely yeah. um Ian has to just... Did you fire a hyperdrive just to check these? So, the other hilarious thing you can do... I'm not sure if it's going to come up now. The other thing hilarious thing you can do with 24-7 is you can sack an agenda to trigger Kronos again <laughs> and remove more stuff. He just okay. done... He, so, he's done his hyperdrive turn. Top 4 on D is a Mushin. So, there's a Mushin. Okay, so we're probably going to see that soon. Got Neural. Mm, yeah. So far, so Jinteki. It's, check the uh, three remotes. I think... I mean... He, he's he's so he's, right, yeah. So he's got to check him. Sorry, I'm falling behind in my commentary duties. He did sack two sack hyperdrivers, so he's going for a mad turn. I feel like you draw a lot, you check these remotes, you take the snares to the face. He can only afford one anyway. So he had to do it on notoriety. Yeah, interesting. So you had it. They work for the 24 7 for a lot. They don't they, they do they yeah. do they do uh, count yeah. for philotic. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But if you got him in hand, might as well play him. I guess he's, all, he's got to check the remotes. Uh, yeah, I mean he's got loads of clicks left. Four more left. Think about it. He's used to six clicks. <laughs> So he's gonna just pick a remote. Yeah, yeah nice. straight on film critic. Yeah, that was that's the one to go. No damage here. No, no two credits. Maybe you just steal it as well right now. You've got to run the others. If he's putting fetal down, then he's putting. So he's gonna use his all nighters to get two clicks back to extend his Don't turn. Take he's, it. He's Check then... the others first. No, he might he's need clicks for other things. He might need that film critic. <laughs> oh right, yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna check some other stuff. A snare. Yeah, he's gonna pay for that. Well, he's under three money though, so he can't hit another snare. Uh, that's true. That's, he can only afford one snare. Okay, so the snare goes in the bin. He is going to take some damage. He, mm. tag. he does, him. yeah. Um, I should also mention there are a couple... Uh, we've had both of them now. There were a couple of mistakes in this turn because he, uh, Ian failed to track two of his clicks. Right. So he's going to use two clicks more than he actually had. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's going to be a huge thing. We attempt to take House of Knives, but do you steal it or do you... I guess you still host it and then take it, or just leave it on there. I mean, that's the other thing you could do. You could leave, say, feet lay eye on there, just leave it on there until you get to five points and then take it off and win yeah. <laughs> before you get plotted. He needs to draw up. He needs to be at least dropped three cards, right? He needs to be. I think he does need to be on three cards. He he can't go over three cards. Um, if he's got a bookmark. Okay, so he's going to... He must have missed his Astrolabe draws at the beginning of that, of that last time. Cause, oh, cause yeah. Alex has sold three That's cards. That's the other thing. He's like... had Astrolabe for a while, yeah. He um, he never fired Astrolabe in this game. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because okay. he, installed, so he started that turn with two cards, anyway. and and Alex installed three. So that yes. really helped him this turn. It, yeah, had he, yeah. Had he you're had not wrong. Cards, yeah, you're not wrong. Especially if any of those top three, you know, not so right Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And he makes up for the... Uh... He, he probably has to clear the tag. Does he clear the tag? Uh, yeah, so he did clear the tag. Um, I wonder if... I'm trying to work out what's valuable to him. The DDoS, I guess. DDoS. Um, so he did clear the tag. He also left the agenda on from Critic. I mean, no big deal. He can take it off next time. Jackson's going to put back some delightful cards, like Snare and Cerebral. And if, he sees a, if, if, if Ian sees a two-point agenda here, he can then just click just take it. Film Critic and, and win, right? So he's yeah. very close. Or, yeah. or he can fire DDoS from next. If he sees a one-pointer, he can take off House Knives and then... Notoriety, DDoS, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's uh, actually doing really well given that the entire deck got brought down by a Well, so, And this is PE's great weakness is that it's it's a slave to variance. Yeah, sometimes you just win because all your traps come first and they're on a 
can't avoid them. But some, sometimes you can't close a gate. Astro you get to this Labian. point. Astrolabian. Yeah. Astrolabe. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Use Astrolabe. I got bad news. Yeah, so he, he drew a bunch of cards um, and he saw the remote. Okay. Uh, Ian's going to take the House of Knives and check the remote. I mean, okay. Just Jackson. Trash it. I think so. He's used two, right? It's the last I think one. think you do. Go. Uh, he has used two, so it is the last one. Yeah. Okay. It stops those traps coming back, at least. Mm. Yep. That's a fair point. So, um, it's just going to take a credit. I guess you're building up here. Uh, it's worth mentioning also, he has four scored agendas and a three card maximum hand slice. <laughs> so, he's definitely in 24 7. So, if there's 24 7, just wins the game, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Is that is he genuinely got twenty four seven in his deck? Is that what this deck does? Oh yeah, he's got twenty four seven. Of course he has. He's got at least I, one. I often sit across from Alex. Like <laughs> he looks like he's like I'm gonna die every turn, and I'm so scared, and then I will win. And he's got a big grin in his face because of the pain that I went through playing against him, and he like he he just likes confusing you. Yeah, uh, I can't believe that it's twenty four seven based off on one of agenda in your deck. So um, Alex drew four cards. <laughs> yeah, in his turn. So I guess he's looking for something. Ian, an agenda maybe. Ian's going to install Hyperdriver, so we might see that get used next turn just for some draws. It means he can stuff. double Notoriety yeah, exactly. one um, If he's got Notoriety, sure. Yeah. He's also got Film Critics, so he can just kind of use that DDoS, check a bunch of stuff, and hope to yeah. get the agenda. He does need two points, so. Yeah. So it'd be much he, easier if he had. Two of the Fetals have come out. There might, may only be two Fetals. It might be just one point from here on down. Yeah. Uh, that's quite Maybe possible. Maybe Future Perfects, that'd be really annoying. Um. Future Perfect would, would be amazing for Ian because he can put that on Film Critic and get on with his life. Thing is, he's drawing so much for this 24-7. There's got to be two points between his hand, the bin, and what he's just installed. Okay, so here's, draw, the, here's the weird draw thing. Draw with Astrolabe. He, 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 actually ha he actually has a 24-7 in hand and I cannot for the love of me work out why he hasn't played it. He's got it in hand. He's got it in hand. So he's had the win for ages. I, I, I honestly don't know why he hasn't played it. I don't know if he doesn't if he thinks notoriety doesn't count, or if he's just not thought of it for some reason, I'm uh, I'm honestly really confused about this because he has a three card maximum hand size, and unless four I'm points. mistaken, he has four agendas, which means if you trigger Philotic, he takes four net damage. Yeah, and dies. Yep. So I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something I'm missing. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe our delightful commenters, commenters will tell me. You were the TO on the day, so yeah, yeah I'm sure you could. Yeah, um, I'm sure. So he then I mean, top, waiting for double so, 24 7. Yeah, he top decked a Flotic, uh, sorry, 24 7, and played two. So I guess he thought he needed two, but. He needed one. Oh he didn't, he needed one because he'd, he'd done two brain damage earlier. Maybe he forgot he'd done two. Yeah, there we go. He yeah. realised. <laughs> maybe, maybe he forgot he'd uh, done two brain damage, I don't know, but at any rate. Yeah, I think Ian pointed that out to him right at the end there. Yeah, it's like, possible. Why, yeah. What, you don't need two. Um, yeah, so at any rate, he drew the 24 7, he played it, and it was a uh, 24 7 Flossic to kill Kate. So, um, Alex, we have our first All the Shot winner on camera. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. On what I'd like to say on this channel. Yeah. Um, not ever. Not ever. <laughs> not the first time an All the <laughs> no. Shot player's ever won. As you can see, there was two players in the uh, quite high up in the yeah, they did. cup <clears> of the <throat> big store champs, so they probably won a few games getting there. So, PE. Let's talk about PE very quickly because we don't we don't see a lot of PE. It's uh, a really tough deck to play against, especially at the end of a long day. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised the wrong word that you don't see more PE because when once we're nearly in the elimination rounds, now granted they've got to get there, it's really easy to make mistakes against PE. And yeah. So, but it relies on variance a lot. I mean, we saw how difficult it was for Alex to close out that game. Even though he landed two brain damage, he trashed all of Ian's key yeah. pieces. It was, it's hard to finish the game. Um, because you're wait, I guess you still need to just keep putting down agendas and hope they don't run them and keep putting down traps and hope they do run them, you know. So it's Yeah, it's a hard the scoring out <coughs> PE is is very difficult because it's sort of like how do you score? If like, you're trying to actively kill. Yeah. So you put Ronin down, for instance. That's pretty good. Yeah, I just think that plan's much better in IG. You know, because I can't trash it. Because <laughs> like the IG yeah. deck doesn't score out; it doesn't install mm. agendas ever. Yeah. So what you're trying to guess is, is he installed a Ronin or has he installed a Cerebral? Yeah. So it's like both of them are bad. Like literally, I don't get any good if I guess right. Yeah. It's not like with the PE where you're like, if I guess right, I score some agenda points. Against yeah. IG, it's like I, I might... trust the Ronin and I don't die, or it's a Cerebral. I might, and I'll I die, might die from running. Yeah. Or I might 
die later yeah. from not running. <laughs> yeah. It's it's yeah. it, and yeah. that's the thing, right. and, and also, and that's even if you can trust the Ronins because it's IG. So I like that plan more, and you could probably do that similar thing in P, where it's like you just motion stuff, but it's only ever Junebug or Ronin, and it's yeah. like you you still have to make that decision: do I run, do I so not run? Motion, motion does that as well. But yeah. There's no benefit if you're right. <laughs> so it's um, uh, so this the Ronin World Championship was actually uh, a little while ago. It was pre Caligoda, in fact, yeah. as of now as a uh, democracy and dogma um the bioethics committee i want to say it's called is a, a new gin tech asset that came out which um does yeah, net damage every turn while it's raised while it's undefended you did yeah. okay um i wonder if that would have a place in this deck i feel like it i mean you have to run it and for that reason it's it's more valuable in ig because it's hard to trash yeah. but you know it still gives you the kind of uh, it still gives you that kill option because you could leave it on the table unrest forever yeah, yeah. and just use it on the turn you need it to yeah. get that one extra that's what happened to me I had two yeah. cards in hand and he or like rest it in two neurals or rest it in your yeah yeah, yeah okay like... yeah um, but yeah, yeah that is annoying um, that, that was against IG though so he rest it anyway and just said like yeah you can't you yeah. can't trust it yeah but no I think that's a good idea in PE I it, even if they even if you just get one damage then they have to spend a click and two credits that's not too bad yeah um I was using the the Wayland one, which gave me three credits. It's like phenomenal. Mm. I think Gagarin, it's it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, anyway, that doesn't apply to this tourney, but uh, there's definitely yeah, that there's build is definitely becoming yeah. a thing. I think this is always a space for PE, like the thousand, like IG is slightly different. It it's kind like, of it's like combo kill you, whereas yeah. this is more like thousand cuts. Right? Well, PE kind of ebbs and flows as well, because if people start to use it and it becomes popular, then you get a lot of damage protection. Yeah. Not a lot, but people will become wary of it at least, and then um, it dies off because it's it loses ground. Now that IG is getting very popular, I'm we'll surprised to see things like PE start to go away because ev- everyone's going to start packing Deus Ex and whatever else. And it seems right. like well, Net Shield yeah. suddenly has become an amazing card against. Uh, that bio thinks so. noise streams. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Play B I G. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I guess so. And imp recursion, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, at any rate, P did win. So uh, he is in the top three. Yeah. As a reward, in the next rounds, we're going to stick with Alex, and we're going to see P E once again. So you play Rich now, the losers. He's going to play the Rich Patson, who, who lost. Uh, that's right. He lost in the um, on the in the last game of the winners bracket. And he's oh, playing Noise. So he's in PE again. So Noise against PE, yeah, so we're going to see PE again. Um, now, you play a lot of Noise, I'm going to always ask you this, because I'm not the Anarch, you're the Anarch. Uh, PE, how do you feel about playing against PE? <laughs> I, I like playing against PE. Oh, you do? But yeah, I, I, but I don't think it's got much to do with Noise. Do you just not bother running Archives, because there's probably probably stuff, maybe you still do. Yeah, Shocks, well, only, only when shops. you're going to lose, you run Archives. Just to, you know. I mean, the risk, of course... And noise can lean towards this. Like, yeah. The risk is you put a lot of gens in the bin but not and you're like, oh, I'm going to go run. Oh, now I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be careful with your hand because you've got Faust. But I, my yes, general rule well. of, of playing PE is I run everything. Yeah, fair. And so I often end with very little hand size from okay. Cerebrals because I'll run everything. Okay. So I, I've lost a lot to hitting my second Mushin Cerebral many times. <laughs> okay. But but that generally works quite well for me. Like, Mushin, check it. Okay. Um, but you don't run any... You don't, you run everything in PE, but not in other, not in yellow, no. for instance. <laughs> well, you know, I just think it's cheeky to mission an agenda out. So I'm like, I'm not having that. Yeah, I'm not having okay. it. I'm, I'm gonna checking that. Force it to be a trap yeah. by running yeah. it. Yeah, okay. and so it's always sure, a trap. of course. <laughs> no, uh, I think PE's alright. You, you, you can imp the similar pieces. You can like generally, you're, it's not taxing on Faust because you can, like, because you're not. They're gonna install much ice that's actually gonna in the run stuff so I yeah. think it's not too bad and then yeah you've always got archives you, you can either never check it or you check it often drop right. check it drop check it like okay you know there's five new face down cards check it now Wait yeah there to be five more and generally uh, I think PE has a hard time against noise it's very disruptive for, for PE who's trying to be you like playing his own game against yeah. it. It's, very, it's a bit, it's a bit interesting, but okay. I find it works quite well. Okay, all right, we'll see how it goes then. Anyway, he's also um, not too precious of any cards. Like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, yeah, you can lose stuff, whatever. You've got loads yeah. of viruses. Oh yeah. no, I've lost some of my viruses. <laughs> yeah, what oh, what no. am I going to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You got options. Okay. So yes, yeah, so in the next round, we're going to see uh, Richard Noise against Alice's P. Um, yeah, should be good. So, uh, I'd like to remind you, if you want to see any more of our videos, you can find them all at the website, neoreningridge.co.uk. You can also find us on Twitter and on Facebook. Um, and you can find us on Patreon, if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you, Joe, for helping me commentate. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.